want to talk a little bit about screen capture and in particular screen capture programs that offer the opportunity to modify in various ways the image captured. So screen capture basically means just what it says. Um, you want to uh, take a picture, I guess you could say, a part of the screen. Uh, this capability comes built in with many different devices. So Chromebook, Mac, uh, Windows, um, um, you know, any, pretty much any tablet has a, a crude version of a, a screen capture. Um, the programs that I have in mind add some capabilities uh, efficiently uh, to, to this uh, capture capability, make it more useful, uh, make it more efficient than you might uh, experience trying to use the built-in capabilities. I'm, I'm particularly interested in screen capture programs that have uh, several features. First of all, I think uh, free is good. And at least for the time being, the uh, application I'm going to demonstrate uh, is available at no cost. Teachers should love this. Um, I am, uh, I'm interested in screen capture programs that are cross-platform. So what I'm showing you here, I'm showing on a Macintosh, but you could also use it uh, with, with Windows. And a third feature I find useful that many screen capture programs don't have, even the more sophisticated ones, is the option to uh, save the image online um, th through the service itself. And uh, this is, you know, what I would eventually predict you would have to pay for, but at least in this uh, example I'm using, you don't. Um, saving something online automatically uh, allows you to uh, come back later and kind of go through your captured images to find maybe one that you've worked on before and now want to use again. Uh, it often uh, also allows the opportunity to work from a different device. So if I capture something, store it within the service online, I can go home, use a different machine, and continue perhaps to uh, do whatever I intended to do. The uh, program I'm recommending here, you can see this is their homepage. It's called Monosnap. M-O-N-O-S-N-A-P dot com. You can download the uh, software from this site. You can see the button here on the screen. Um, you can also usually get these programs, and this is what I do when I can, through the uh, store <laughs> connected with my device. So the Apple Store makes this available. Uh, you, you don't pay for it, but you can get it there. Um, and uh, I, I like that in that that it just gives me the sense of a... Of, of, of added security, but you can get it online too, and it probably is perfectly fine. Um, <clears throat> so let me set up a little uh, application I might have in mind, and uh, I mean I hope you can generalize from this maybe how you you might use uh, a capture program to uh, help educate someone else as to how you do something. So uh, what I want to set up here is uh, how I might explain to someone else how to do some uh, special things within uh, a blogging program, very common one called WordPress. This is what part of my little WordPress, uh, one of my WordPress sites would look like. Um, Word WordPress has the built-in capability of being easily modifiable and in some very powerful ways. And I want to show you, you know, through this little demonstration, how you'd modify one part of the WordPress site that you have set up. So what I'm really interested in is showing how this whole panel here can be easily modified, customized maybe is a better word, to your personal preferences. So the things that show up in my blog could be very different, even though we could be using the same software, than might show up in, in, in your blog. And you you can easily modify this part of the display and put in there uh, various things without really knowing much about programming, for example. Uh, and, I, and I think that's useful to know how to do. So this is my little <laughs> demonstration of Monosnap and also how to uh, use widgets to uh, change that part of a WordPress install. So, so here's the guts behind uh, WordPress. Uh, this would be available to anyone who has a WordPress site. And uh, 
what I'm kind of using here are, are, is, is are, are widgets to modify what appears uh, in that uh, left-hand part of this, this the screen that I showed you before. So here you can actually see the widget area. Um, widgets are interesting, and then you can just kind of move them around, and you can uh, move them, install them from a collection of widgets that uh, WordPress makes available. So if I was going to explain that after you having seen my finished product, I might want to do that with a, with, with a screen capture. So I come up here to activate uh, MonoSnap. I want to capture an area. Actually, I want to capture most of the screen in this case. And uh, so I'm going to do that. Very easy. Just drag this over what I want to capture. And now that's going to set this up. I'm going to pull it into my viewing area. Okay, so now you can see, I hope, <laughs> let me change the size a little bit here. You can see oops, the mono snap tool as it's captured this part of the image. So this is a picture of the screen of uh, the WordPress tool set um, captured within MonoSnap. And now I can do things to this display to kind of create the final image I want to share. The tools available to me appear down here. Quickly go through them. So uh, here's the color <laughs> that will be applied to anything you add. Um, I like red, but of course this is a fairly standard way of doing this. So you click on this and you can select whatever color you want to use. So anything that is added to this well, will, will, will appear in this color. Uh, this is the width tool. It's a slider. Uh, so lines, arrows, um, the width of, you know, the line that appears within a box I draw uh, can be modified by sliding this tool around. Here are the tools themselves. If I want to add an arrow, um, I would use this tool. If I want to draw a rectangle around something, I would use this tool. To add a line, this tool to uh, circle or, you know, in, uh, well, circle, I guess, is maybe the easiest way to explain it. Uh, part of the screen, I would use this tool. I can just use a, a pen to draw, or as it says here, I can turn this into a highlighter, use text tools. Um, here's blur. Um, blur, of course, kind of makes uh, part of an image less distinctive, harder to see the specifics of. You might say, well, what would I ever use that for? Well, it, think, of, think of a couple of applications here. If, if, if I'm showing you how to set up something in an online account, I might go through the process quite uh, specifically, and the process might uh, request that I add my email and my password. Uh, I can do that, and I can record that part of the screen. I probably don't want you to see that. And so after I capture the part of a screen that shows my email or my password, I might blur that out in the captured image. Um, educators, um, second example, educators might uh, be quite sensitive to showing student faces or showing students, uh, parents, and well, maybe as a safety thing, parents may object. And so they can use the blur tool if they uh, show students to, to, to blur their face, make them less uh, distinctive. Um, the crop tool, if I want to decide, if I decide I want to use only part of the image I've captured, I can crop it and, and, and resize basically changes Instead of the size that you see here, um, I can, for example, make a smaller version of this. Uh, and this is often what I want to do. So um, this version, perhaps, would be too large to appear in, in, in my blog. It just would be too, too, too big. And so uh, I can resize it. So this allows you uh, to, to modify uh, the captured image, the captured modified image, um, to, to, to suit a, your particular need. So, so what are some things I might want to do here? Um, well, let's say, uh, among other things, I want to say, okay, you saw the image and parts of it that I wanted to modify. Here's where I would find the tool to work on widgets. And in fact, what I'm really going to focus on then are, uh, are widgets. I can say, well, what you saw and that first image was created 
through these widgets dragged into this area. And I might say, well, I can also show you to drag something. What I do is uh, pull something, I don't know, from here over to a location here. And that's how I would, you know, by dragging different images there, uh, create what appears in the widget area, which is what you see when you look at the finished product uh, in, in, in WordPress. So these tools then can create this final version that I can refer to perhaps in something I write and say, well, if you look to the left-hand side, you'll see the appearance area. I've, uh, I've enclosed it in a red, uh, a red rectangle. And within this in particular, uh, what you see are the widgets that uh, are available and have been deployed in order to create what you see in the left-hand column of the WordPress blog. So this would allow me to explain, perhaps, and refer to the image in a more helpful way. So again, this is a screen capture using the program, the free program you can download called Monosnap. And... Uh, this hopefully will familiarize you enough that you can explore on your own. Uh, it's a fairly simple tool to use, a powerful tool to use. And uh, I think if you uh, think about things that you have to explain to others related to the use of technology and things that would appear on your screen, this would be a helpful tool to learn how to use.